to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. What we're going to do on this gentleman right here is we're just going to do a basic haircut. What I call in my shop, we call this a regular. Uh, we're not going to go too short. We're going to start off with the number four on the sides. Number four, using our Babyliss machine. When this gentleman comes to see me every uh, two to three weeks, he usually gets a haircut and a shave. But what I decided to do was to break this tutorial down into two part tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is do the tutorial on the haircut first. And then if you wanna look up the, the, the tutorial on the shave, that comes up next. But basically what I'm doing guys, is I'm just running the number four all the way around the sides guys. Like I always tell you guys, if somebody comes in with a lot of hair around the edges and comes in looking like the Lion King, then you need to drop you need to, to uh, mow everything on the sides down and bring it down to a level playing field. And, and what that is right there is a number four, guys. A number four. So basically what we're going to do on him is I, I, what I call the number system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the number four first. Basically all the way around the sides or basically around the crown. Uh, and the crown would be the area if he was wearing a crown around his head. Uh, that would be the crown, which is right around the edges uh, 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 from the starting from the temple all the way around. So once I went with the number four, now I'm gonna go with my number three and a half, metal three and a half. And what I'm using right here, guys, is I'm using, what I'm using, I'm using my Austria Octane, guys, Austria Octane. If you haven't seen Austria Octane, if you're, if you're an Austria user like myself, uh, man, when I got into the Austria Octane, it just made my life so much easier with not having to use any cords. Uh, and you know, and if you're if you're a barber, you should be using an Austria either way. That's how, that's what I think. But what I'm doing right here is I'm just going with my number four. And, and, and remember, I went with my number. First, what I did was I went with my number four all the way around the crown. Now, what I'm doing is going around with my number three. And what I'm doing is just going a little bit lower than I did with my number four. So basically, a number three and a half metal blends right into number four. So there's no blending involved. There's no uh, clipper over comb or anything. What I call this technique right here is I call the number system. You know, basically you're just going down the numbers. So now, now what I'm gonna do is I, now I switched over to my number two metal blade, number metal two. Remember guys, there's only three really blades that you need for your metals, for your uh, uh, ostras. You only need your, your three and a half, your two, one and a half, one, one A, and, uh, and you know, and your one or your triple zeros if you use them, but I don't use a triple zero. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just going up the, the, the size number, we went with the number four first, now we went with the number four, now I'm going with the number two, and I'm just keeping it, I'm only going halfway up, you notice I'm only going halfway up now, uh, and it, basically you're just tapering it up, making it nice and tight around the edges, you know, he didn't want to go too, too tight, like say a one and a half all the way around, he, he wanted that, that little bit of thickness coming down gradually towards the bottom, and then just cleaned up. So, you know, just running the number the number two towards the bottom, making sure, and, and right there, as you see, his hair, and a lot of people's hair in the back of their neck grows in different directions. So you gotta keep that in mind. If it grows in different directions, then you gotta go the opposite way. So if it goes to the side, then you gotta go the opposite way. And, and right there, guys, you guys see me using my, my, my uh, blow dryer. Always keep your blow dryer handy guys you know i know we're barbers and you're not supposed to be styling and all that supposedly but you should have a good blow dryer especially you should try to have a turbo blow dryer like that one turbo turn uh, a twin turbo i think blows so hard it's it, it, you know it just blows all the hair out of the way you don't even need to use your duster so right here i'm going with my gtx and basically uh, uh you know just squaring everything out you just regular sideburns go around the ear come down the edge of the back of the neck and what I, as always, what I do is I do one side, then I move over and I do the other side. Same thing. I'm gonna do the sideburns real quick. And we're gonna go angle your machine the opposite way and, and just go around the ear real quick. If your machine is nice and, and sharp, it, I mean, this step only takes, a, only takes a few seconds to do this step right here. Uh, just nice, tight, you know, sideburns, go down the back. Uh, pretty much, you know, as, as you can tell, guys, the sides are already done, you know, and, and this would apply to any type of regular haircut. Um, this is just a, what I what I call this right here is a four, a, a, a four, three, two, four on the, on the, around the crown, three around the middle, and two around the edges. Uh, but this could be this a haircut could be applied in any other way, guys. It could be applied to a, a six five four or a seven six five, you know, tapered down and then boxed off the same way. No different. So once I'm done with the, the the sides now, well, we're gonna move over to the to, to the top. 
and again guys it's just a simple just clean up you know it, the top he, what he told me was last time i cut his hair his haircut came out clean it was nice and tight on top normally i try to leave the front a little bit longer and, and shorter towards the back but he told me that he really liked it nice and tight real tight spikes um all, all he ever says he ever does and this is once in a while he'll throw a little bit of gel and just kind of just run his finger through his hair and uh spike it up on top kind of grunge lucky you know what i mean so just applying a general amount, a generous amount of water, get it nice and uh, nice and wet. As always, you guys know me. If you guys know my videos, uh, I, when I cut the top, I like to have a hair very, very moist. So right there, I just grab out my first guy line, and basically what I'm doing is left the front a little bit longer than the back, but towards the back, what I'm doing is just going finger length. To me, I, I, you know, and this is something you have to develop, but to me, finger length on top is more or less a five on top, you know? And the front, what I'm doing is leaving a little bit longer, so it's kind of like a six. So if I was running clips, so basically I'm just trying to uh, get the top uh, more or less even, but at the same time, you want it choppy. Because if you wanted it nice and even, what I would suggest to him was that we run a clip through the top. Some people, when somebody asks me for spikes on top, guys, what I do is I, I'll, I'll always ask them, do you want them nice and even or do you want them uh, different sizes, jagged? If you want them jagged, then I'll do them with my scissors. If they want them nice and even, then I'll suggest doing them with machine. I would have suggested like a six in the front, five towards the back. But he wanted them jagged, so that's why we're doing scissors. So what I'm doing right here is I'm crisscrossing. First, I went from front to back. And once I go from front to back, then I go from side to side. And basically, when I go from side to side, what I'm doing is I'm picking up and I'm just picking up everything that I missed when I went from front to back, if that makes any sense. Kind of crisscrossing, you know, it's kind of, you're, you come from front to back and you might miss some hair, so you go from side to side and you'll see what you missed when you went from front to back. See right there, I'm just double checking, just, just kind of, just cleaning it up. Short spikes on top, nothing fancy, it's a nice clean haircut. And this could be applied in any type of haircut too. Say he was combing, uh, if he's slicking his hair back or if he was combing it to the side, then you know, then you, uh, the same thing, uh, the way I do my haircuts is if, uh, if you require scissors on top, I'll do it second, I'll do it after. If it requires a machine on top, then I'll do it first before I do the fade or, or do the, you know, the regular or the paper or whatever, it may be on the side. It's all about, it's all about developing your, your game plan of cutting hair, guys, remember that. Develop your game plan. You develop your system of cutting hair. Once you develop your system of cutting hair, then everything after that is just clockwork. Every, the hair can start, and you start knocking them out. You know, to me right here, this is this is an easy haircut. This is not, not a challenge. It's kind of a you know. At my shop, it's weird because you know every shop is different. But at my shop, these haircuts are, are very uh, rare. You know, at my at my shop, I do 85% fades and tapers. So it's rare when a, a, a regular haircut comes in here at this shop. It's just, I don't know if maybe it's just where we're at or, or demographics or something, but it, that's just the way it is at my shop. So right there, what I'm doing is applying a little bit of a, a, a Gentleman Republic gel. Um, just what I'm doing is just applying it, uh, uh, kind of running it through the, through the hair and, and lifting it up. That way I can see whatever else is sticking out and, and I might have to do some adjustments. At my shop, in case you guys are wondering, guys, this is a the, sh the haircut itself is twenty dollars, but uh, a haircut and a sh and a beard shave is thirty five, uh, and I think I'm pretty cheap on that, thirty five. But this is pretty much the haircut portion of it. And my shop, guys, and I and I, and I encourage you guys to follow these rules. At my shop, if you get a regular haircut. Or a taper you automatically get a um, hot towel uh, you, you get a, a towel around your neck and you're gonna get some hot lather from my hot lather machine so that it, your hot lather feels it touches your neck and you feel that warmness and the customer you know how many times I've heard a customer say like ooh that feels so good you know and it's because you do these extra little things like this right here I could have ended the haircut and you would have never known or whatever but you know when, when you're a barber, you have to go up and beyond, and, and you got to try to give that extra little service that your customer is going to enjoy, or little things that your customer is going to, you know, remember. This thing right here, doing this little portion of the haircut, trust me, guys, you'll gain 
a thousand customers by just doing this right here, by shaving around the neck, shaving her, uh, uh, the, the sideburns. So many barbers I see nowadays just skipping these steps right here um, to try to, you know, try to cut corners, try to get faster, try to get her, you know. But this is one of the things that you should not cut. This is one of the things that you should be doing. But at this point, guys, the haircut is pretty much done. Um, you know, spraying some smell good on him. Like always, always end your haircut with some smell good, guys. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys watching this channel. You guys uh, are here um, helping me as much as I help you. I, I, I love doing this kind of stuff. So if you guys have any problems, any questions, feel free to leave it below in the comment section. I answer everybody's question, guys. Right here, as always, you guys know my haircuts. I always tell you guys, I always end my haircut with a little bit of clipper over comb. And the reason being is that you go around the edges and you want to make sure that nothing is sticking out. Because guess what? When you hand that customer the, the, that mirror, and you should be handing that customer your mirror. When you hand that customer your mirror, you he's going to be looking at himself from a front view. Kind of where you're looking at right here, right now. And guess what he's going to see? First thing he's going to see is stuff sticking out right there. Right around the temple. Right around the crown area. So that's how you end your haircut, guys. Hey, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I encourage you guys to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. So every time I drop a new video, you guys are going to be on track. Watch out for that shave tutorial after this. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys. And grind on.